Kelly Slater, 11 time world surfing champion, the GOAT, one of my favourite athletes of all time and a massively popular guest on the Howie Games. Now he has provided so much joy for people watching what he does on a surfboard. He inspires a lot of people but he has also provided joy because Kelly put his you know what's on the line, made a massive investment to try and design a perfect wave. Turned out pretty well. It is called the Surf Ranch and it is very, very close to Kelly's heart. When did someone come to you and say, we've got this idea that turned into the Surf Ranch and what did you think about it? Um, well, it was kind of my idea with my partner, a guy named Jeff. Um, he likes to kind of be a secret. He didn't, he didn't want to be front and center. So Jeff's my partner and Jeff was an ex pro water skier. And he said, Hey, there's all these defunct properties. There's no such thing as pro water skiing anymore. There's all these properties that have water rights and they got the permit and they have the electricity. And huh. I think we'd go buy one of these and build our wave there. And because we've been trying to search for money for, from people forever and no one's coughing it up. Everyone loves the idea, but they, it's like, they want to see it first because we got to build it. And so he and I put our money up and, and decided to buy this property a hundred miles from the coast. Are we talking a little bit of money or a lot of money? Um, well, the property was a little bit of money, but the, 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 the project was a lot of money. Um, in fact, I literally, I literally looked at it and went, you know what? I'm going to lose everything I've ever made possibly or a, a huge chunk of it. So you but put I'm your gonna, nuts right on the line then? Yeah. Yeah. We had to take that risk. I mean, it wow. was, I was like, there's going to be millions of dollars. Um, and we're going to have to risk that in order to see this through. And, and I said to Jeff, I said, look, Jeff, I trust you. Um, and he said, I trust you. He goes, is this going to work? And I said, it's going to work. And he goes, all right, then I'm willing to put my money up. If you're willing to put your money up and let's do this. And so we started, that's how we started. Are you the first person to surf it? Has someone surfed it before you? Or you yeah. So, so I told Jeff, I said, look, Jeff, I'm not there for 48 hours like catch a wave and he goes i refuse to catch a wave you're gonna catch the first wave what a bloody legend jeff is what yeah, a legend jeff, jeff is jeff the man. yeah jeff's the man and and i was like man i, I feel bad about that you're watching this it, that's like you're you've been starving for a month and there's food in front of you and you won't eat until your friend shows up I'm like you're crazy and <clears throat> i was like you paid for this thing just like i did you know just whatever and and um he goes nope i'll body surf it but i won't surf it and he jumped in and body surfed a few waves. So I flew back and the, the night before I just couldn't sleep. I was so tired and jet lagged from flying from Fiji. And I think I got two or three hours of sleep in a hotel. And we got up before daybreak and we drove out there and there was no wind and it was just beautiful. And the sun was rising and we ran the, we flicked the switch and ran the first wave. And I, I started crying. Actually, I started welling up with tears. I was like, I can't believe what I'm seeing here. This is so crazy. This is, exists. I started imagining when I was a kid, we used to go and wake surf behind the boat, holding the rope, trying to surf the wake, right? And it was like such a fun thing to do in the summer because we had no waves. And my mind went straight back to that. And it was like imagining like, gosh, how fun was that as a kid? I used to do that with my brother, Sean. And I was thinking, there's no way. Like, can, you, can I believe I'm in this place in my life? You know, it was Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. <laughs> and and uh, I was Charlie and I was given the keys to the factory, you know, and, um, and, and it, it's, it's also funny because that was my favorite movie growing up. And, and when we, and as a side note, when we ran the wave, the water was chocolate Brown yes. because of the, because of the dirt in the area and we didn't have the filtration system right to be able to get rid of that. So if, it really the metaphor ran rampant for a long time because I gave out golden tickets to people to come surf it and stuff. It's really funny. It was just a fun thing to play with, but um, yeah, it was an unbelievable moment in my life to flip that switch on and, and see it run. And uh, I didn't know, I really didn't know what to do because I was with about 40 people. There's about 30, 40, maybe even 50 people there that day, friends and family and filmers and, co-workers and stuff and people who helped create the thing and as they filmed it i'm sitting there watching it and i realized everyone else has moved back behind the cameras and they're filming me and i turn around and i was like like i can feel it right now like i almost want to cry again because i was like so full of emotion um 
I didn't know what to do with it because I'm not a very expressive person. I'm not a very extroverted person when I'm not surfing. Um, like on land, I'm pretty sort of reserved for the most part. And I, I just didn't, I was like, I don't even know what to think right here. Cause it, it also wasn't only mine, you know, it was my manager and it was Jeff and it was Sam and it was Dirk. And it was like you know, all these other people that helped create this thing. It was Adam who came up with the science in the first place and um, Kyle who managed the, 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 the construction and uh, you know, all these other people that, that helped make it. And, um, and, and that focus was all on me because I was going to ride that first wave that morning. And um, so <laughs> the first wave couldn't have been any more perfect. I'll tell you that much. I jump in the water and I say to Noah, who is uh, the manager at the wave company, I said, Noah, where's the first, where does the wave break? Because I, you know, we, the thing starts out and then eventually a wave builds up and it starts to break. And I said, where's the big break? And he goes, well, I'm, I'm not quite sure, but I think right there and at that pole, like right over, you know, at this, at this place. And I went, okay. Cause I want to take off at the first moment the wave starts to break. You know, I want to like, I want to, I want to ride the whole wave. And um, he goes, yeah, yeah, it starts to, it starts to break right there. And so I had no concept of what this thing was. I had, I had watched two waves break from 500 yards away <clears throat> and I didn't know where to sit or where to be or anything. So, I, and the water was um, just to give you an idea, the water was uh, about 10 degrees um, freezing cold. So I put on my wetsuit and my gloves and my booties and jump in the water and I paddle over and, I'm waiting and they do this countdown and they're going to send the wave and they send the wave and it, it, it's a weird thing when the wave first comes because it builds up so quickly at the last second before it breaks. So I'm seeing like nothing. I'm like, where's the wave? Where's the wave? The machine's going. I know the, the swell's going to come and then the swell starts to appear and it crosses the pool in my vision like this, you know, and it kind of goes across the pool at like a 45 degree angle away from you uh, coming at you. and it, it starts to build up and it's coming to, to me and I start to paddle and I, I start paddling really fast because it hasn't broken yet. And, uh, and, and I sort of catch it and I stand up and the wave breaks off in front of me and peels away and I fall. It's, no one's ever seen that video. You fell on the first I, one. I fell. I love how I well taught us. You fell. I, I, didn't even, I didn't even fall. It just broke in front of me and pa it didn't let me ride the face. Right, so you got caught cool behind. Because I, I didn't know where to sit. So. I'm actually, I actually want to go and like, you know, everyone sees the glory shot, you know, yeah. everyone sees, the, everyone sees the, uh, you know, the next wave I rode perfectly all the way. I got barrel and I did an air reverse and uh, you know, it, it, it was, it was great. But, um, <laughs> but the very first wave ever ridden was, it, I totally blew it. <laughs> because when that, uh, when that's that, the true story. No well, one sees I, the true story. I like the true story. Hey guys, Howie here. Thank you so much for watching the Howie Games YouTube channel. We appreciate your support. Now, if you want to hear the full podcast, you can just click on the link directly below. If you want to subscribe to the YouTube channel, which would be fantastic, bang, click right there. And if you want to see more clips, highlights, and updates from the Howie Games, just go that way. Thanks so much. As always, take it easy, and peace and love.